Good morning and welcome to the Sunday School live stream at the Abundant Love Church. I am Evangelist Willie Franks and I have with me to my right, Sister Camille Slaughter, and to my left I have Minister Chris Halfacre. Welcome to the table. Yeah. <laughs> Our Sunday School lesson is coming out of Romans chapter 5 verses 1 through 11 and the title of our lesson is Justified by Faith. Our golden text is Roman 5 and 8. We have our lesson outline has three portions. The first portion is justified by faith in Christ, Romans 5, 1 through 5. The second one is justified by the blood of Christ, Romans 5, 6 through 9. And the third one is justified by the life of Christ, Romans 5, 10 through 11. I think we're going to have a great, great topic tonight. And I hope that something we say today will be edifying to you. And I hope that you can take away from, I hope that you can take away from this lesson and put it into your life and live, live it every day. I will have Sister Camille pray for us. Lord, we thank you for another day, Father God. We thank you for coming in, being with us, Lord. I pray that you will come in, have your way. Lord, let your spirit reign and be over us on today, Lord. Guide our mouths, guide our hearts and our minds, Lord. Let the people hear what we are saying, but it's really coming from you, Lord God. So I pray that it will touch their hearts, Lord, and make a difference in their life on today, God. I pray that you will bless this word. Come down and sit with us on today. In Jesus' yes. name, I pray. Amen. 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 I help minister half acre, half acre read um, verses one two, three, and four. Romans five and one. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into the grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of the Lord. Of glory, excuse me, hope of glory of God. Verse three, and not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Verse four, and patience, experience, and experience, hope. Brother Sir Camille, could you read verses five, six, seven, and eight? And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God commended his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And I will read verses 9, 10, and 11. Verse 9. Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Verse 10. For if when we were in for for if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his love. Eleven. And not only so. But we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. We have read to you uh, Romans 5, verses 1 through 11. And we want to talk about justified by faith. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Mr. Hathaway, could you explain that peace? Peace that we have with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Peace. I think about when when you have so many things going on in your life and um, you you just can't um, relax. You can't, uh, you have so much going on to the point to where uh, your mind races, you can't sleep. Mm -hmm. But um, the peace that we get in Christ mm -hmm. is that no matter what we're going through, yeah. we, uh, 
we continue to push forward. Um, not so much that we don't have a care in the world, but the trust that we have in him can actually get us through it. And sometimes people have a tendency to wonder. They look at you and they're like, um, this person don't have a care in the world, but that's not us. It's the God in us. Mm -hmm. And that's the peace that we speak about. Amen. That piece you talk about come from John, um, Chapter 14, verse 27, he said, Peace I leave with you. Mm -hmm. My peace I give it, give I unto you. He's not talking about the peace of the world, but he's talking about the peace that he gives us. Mm -hmm. A peace that surpasses all understanding. Mm -hmm. yeah. A peace that we can, a peace that we can rest in, knowing that his word said it, and I can stand on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, another aspect of it would be just us not being enemies of God anymore. Amen. You know, it's like a, a peace treaty, so to speak, <laughs> you know, um, because we're we're flesh and the flesh is not subject under God's law, neither can it be, you know. So um, now at this point, it's we're being reconciled back to Christ and we are now friends with him. We have access to him and the many benefits of what he has to offer to Amen. us. Amen. What type of tribulations do you think, since we're being we justified by faith, and in the midst of our faith, we know that all tri that tribulations fall on everyone, mm -hmm. the same and the unjust. It rains on the just and the unjust, just like it do. And what type of tribulations comes upon us, the saved and the uh, and the lost? Mm -hmm. Um. Everyday life. Yeah. Uh, from the moment we wake up to the moment we lay down to go to sleep, yeah. our everyday life, certain things. Sometimes you wake up, you may wake up with a headache. Yeah. Um, you go out, uh, you, you, you hit your toe <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on the corner. You know that corner end yeah. of the bed, that, that, <laughs> that little sharp edge. Um, you're running behind at work. Um, yeah. You get in an accident. Right. Um, I mean, the tribulations can be so small, yet also so big. Mm -hmm. But um, we all have tribulations. Mm -hmm. The difference is how we mm -hmm. um, how we handle ourselves through the yeah. tribulation. Mm -hmm. That is so true. Not only that, I think also we have self-inflicted tribulations. Yes. You know, we. We go through things that we necessarily don't have to go through because it's just us. I know I can speak for me personally, following my own will and, you know, not having any guidance and, you know, just trying to find my purpose, trying to find my way through life. And, you know, you can't do it on your own. And so we self-sabotage. I like to call it we're like our own worst enemy before God come in and he step in and change us. That's true. Amen. And another tribulation is that death, mm -hmm. the saved and the unsaved, yeah. the law lose when it comes to death mm -hmm. in life. You can't, that's that's the tribulation you cannot control, mm -hmm. point blank. Some things, just like he was saying, we, we inflict our own self tribulation sometimes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we do. The choices that we make, Places that we go, the people that we choose to hang around, and that is all within itself. Let's talk about the blood, justified by the blood. Let's talk about the blood of Christ, Sister Camille. When he said, when they said justified by the blood of Christ, could you give a clearer? Understanding. For for me, it's being reconciled by you know back to him, and you know it's it's now it's not that I didn't do anything wrong, mm -hmm. but I'm justified in Christ because He has taken care of it. He's paid the price for me, you know. So it doesn't erase my sin, you know. It's it's it still happened, mm -hmm. but I'm covered by the blood mm -hmm. of Jesus. Mm -hmm. piggyback off of what Camille said. 
have you ever went in um, behind someone in the grocery store and someone uh, said that they would pay for your groceries? <laughs> or you went to um, um, Starbucks mm -hmm. um, and somebody paid for your beverage, whichever, some people hot chocolate, some people coffee. But for someone to pay for past, present, oh, and yeah, future sin, yeah. it's, um, you know, I, I was using the analogy of people, mm -hmm. but this particular uh, covering by the blood, we couldn't do ourselves. Yeah, we couldn't. Yeah. So um, I get I just get excited about mm -hmm. just thinking about what, what the Lord has done that that sacrifice that kind of sacrifice mm -hmm. um, none of us could have done it. we are we are not equipped <laughs> um, we were born in sin <laughs> um, we have Adam's nature so um, that's what I mean by 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 covering. It's it's yeah. it's, it's, it's it's a complete covering um, of shall I say protection? <laughs> because um, without the blood, without Jesus, <laughs> where would we be? Amen. Amen. I like that being justified by the blood. The blood does cover us. Mm -hmm. It covers our sins when. The Bible talks about when God looks at us, he don't look at mm -hmm. us, but he sees us covered in the blood. Right. He looks at the blood. Through the blood, we are justified. Mm -hmm. Through the blood, there's, there comes salvation. If it had not been for him hanging on the cross mm -hmm. to shed that blood, you have to think to yourself, what would I be? <laughs> what would I be doing? Mm -hmm. A lot of. I'm justified. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of unsavory. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, and you have to think. I'm justified by the blood of Christ. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we don't we we don't really say those words to ourselves. Mm -hmm. But to say it out loud, mm -hmm. I am justified by the blood of Christ. Yes. No matter what I did, mm -hmm. I'm justified by the blood of Christ. No matter where I've been, I'm justified by his blood. His blood covers me. Mm -hmm. And just as long as I stay in his will. His blood will continue mm -hmm. to cover me daily. I get we have to get up and we have to walk with him and talk with him. Prayer starts today. Mm -hmm. Prayer yeah. starts today. His word takes us through. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, we start it all over again. Because we know where our salvation lies. It lies in Christ. Yeah. And to say that, I'm gonna say it again. I'm just a <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about the life of Christ, how he lived and the things that he did to, to bring us in, to justify us by faith. Mr. Hathaway. Wow. Um, Christ did so much. Mm -hmm. And the only thing he asked of us mm -hmm is to believe in him. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have the law, mm -hmm. but he didn't come to um, get rid of the law, but fulfill it. Mm -hmm. So, some people, how can I put this? It's not about believing in a higher power. Because there's people that will say, um, uh, you know, I believe that there's a higher power. No, it's, it's not about a higher power. Mm -hmm. It is the Son of God. Mm -hmm. And his name is Jesus. That's it. See, there's a lot of people, I, I hear it all the time, and, and we're getting conditioned mm -hmm. in television mm -hmm. to where people talk about a higher power. Mm -hmm. No, we have to be specific in this thing. Yes, we do. And... Jesus is asking for us to believe in him. All the rest of the stuff will come afterwards. We start with the belief. He healed the sick. He uh, healed the lame. 
and he died on the cross for our sin. Ooh. And all we have to do is believe in him. Not the higher power, right. but Jesus. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> when you were talking about higher power, I was think, I was thinking, I was thinking, aren't we rejecting Christ by just saying higher power and not really acknowledging exactly who he I is? I believe so. Yeah. We have to be specific in this right. thing. If somebody gave, say for example, I gave you twenty dollars. But you thank Sister Willie for the twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah, I mean you you gave thanks for right. the twenty dollars, but, but you, you wasn't specific the to the person. <laughs> See, we have yeah. to give thanks to the to the person yeah. that did that thing for us. Amen. And Amen. we're talking about Jesus and what He has done. No higher power. Amen. Right. Specific. Right. Mm. Yeah. How are we saved by the law? So, you know, last week we talked about the, the death. And <laughs> we know that, you know, without the the death and then him getting up, mm -hmm. you know, and living and continuing to live, mm -hmm. our faith would be null and void. Mm -hmm. So with him living and being resurrected, we have our own personal advocate mm -hmm. in heaven, sitting next to God on the throne, fighting for us, interpreting for us. Mm -hmm. And you know that's see. that's what it is. It's him speaking on our behalf, and that is mm -hmm. for us to understand that he is still alive. He's not Christ is not dead. No, he's not. He's not. And we are saved by his we are saved through Christ's life by what he's what he did for us. Mm -hmm. He did it all for us. Yeah. We have to make this thing personal and yeah. say he did it for me. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we want it. A lot of times we talk about what all he did. Mm -hmm. But we don't want to put our life into it. He died for the drug addict. Mm -hmm. He died for the prostitute. Mm -hmm. He died for everybody. But it's up to us to recognize that. It's up to the person to get a, a personal, in, it's up to the person to get a personal relationship with him. The life that he lived and died. Mm -hmm. It was all for us. You know, when we when we get saved, we have to remember mm -hmm. that we were out there. Mm -hmm. See, um, just because we saved, we can't uh, we can't forget uh, about the people who are still um, mm -hmm. uh, lacking the knowledge of who Jesus is. Mm -hmm. See, there was a time when we didn't know who Jesus was, right. mm -hmm. and uh, just because we now know who He is, doesn't mean that we have it together. And everybody right. that don't know Him. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it, it is is what do they call them? Hellions, mm -hmm. uh, sinners, yeah. um, whatever adjective you want to use. But w what it boils down to is we can't just look at somebody else and see the sin that they're in and dismiss them. Yeah. Mm. What we need to do is we need to uh, have compassion mm -hmm. and and. and give encouragement because my sin may not have been on display. Right. See, right. people look at me and always think, yeah, Chris, he, 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 he never drank. He, he, he never smoked. He was never out there doing drugs or anything like that. But there were some things that I was doing that nobody knew about. Right. And so just because you don't know my sin right. doesn't make me any better than anybody else. Right. Now, granted, uh, we shouldn't be where we mm -hmm. uh, where we came from. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we can't look down on somebody who is still out there in the world. Yeah. We have to uh, stand up and encourage them. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. this thing right here, mm -hmm. um, people don't, mm -hmm. they don't read this. Right. They read us. Right. <laughs> We're the only Bible that some people may ever read. And we have to be examples to the people out in the world. Um, I just, I, I just threw that in there, just, you know, just a little. When well, you were talking about, you think about such was some of us, right? Yeah. And, so, mm -hmm. and you have to think about we, we have to start. We have to change. We have to start living our life in a, in a way so much so about God that people want to look at us yeah. and say, "How can I get there?" Amen. Yeah.
How did you do this? How did you get from there to here? Who is this God that you serve? That's the way we have to start. His name is Jesus. His name we Jesus. want him to come <laughs> When you were both speaking, I thought the same thing um, as far as us not forgetting where we came from because just as easy, easily as we're not in it, we could go right back to it. You know, anything could beset us. You know, it's sin. And then when, when you were speaking, um, I was just thinking about how it's just, it's just the grace of God, you know, that, you know, we're not where we used to be and how we used to be, you know, and I think it's important for us to, like you said, not forget that, but we're supposed to go back mm -hmm. and reach those people. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why we went through what we went through. There's it's purpose for everything. And I think that it's important for us to remember that mm -hmm. and, and help people and bring them up. You know, we, we, we get to talking about this grace. I'm you can't right. pay for this thing. Yeah, you, you, you can't. Your works, your works not don't do it. You don't know. Your works don't do it. You can't pay for this thing. Um, uh, I always think about sometimes I use the word faith. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes uh, we get things mm -hmm. that we don't even deserve. No, you better tell me. But we also <laughs> don't get things that we do deserve. Amen. And see, <laughs> Amen. Are, I, look, I'll, I'll be honest. Yeah. Uh, there's yeah. been, you know, a lot of people don't want to hear this because we live in a day and age where we talk about time out. Mm -hmm. But uh, as a child, uh, I've done some things that I got reprimanded for physically. Right. And um, <laughs> we've done some things that the Lord could reprimand us for. But because of grace, yeah. enabled us an opportunity to, to still get that thing right. Because yeah. we're going to fall. A just man falls seven times. Yeah, he does. But he get up. Yeah. <laughs> but, when, yeah. But, but, but the grace of God. Grace. What, what would have happened if, uh, what was it, 2005? But... December, December 31st, 2005, that the Lord decided that, that I, I just, he decided to reprimand me in a way that was un, unthinkable. Mm -hmm. the, the following day, I came to Abundant Love. Mm -hmm. See, the, the, the first Sunday, even though I was a little scared, <laughs> Uh, you see all these cars you, uh, and, and all these people, and then you, you feel the heat. Like, like you walk inside, and it's like everybody's staring at you. It's like, but the grace of God. Um, there's a lot of things that we um, don't deserve, but there's some things that we do deserve, and we still don't get those either. When you was talking, you made me think about this picture that I watched, this this movie that I watched called Noise. Mm -hmm. These men, in, in the movie, the men in the movie, you could hear their thoughts. Everything they, everything they thought about. They couldn't hear the women's, but they could hear the men. All these men walking around and their thoughts just, and it had like a little puff of smoke around and you could hear everything they were singing. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about that movie, when I was watching that movie, I said, that's the way our thoughts is with God. Oh, wow. He can hear Just everything. He can hear everything we think. The good and the bad. The good and the bad. Yes. And I was thinking about it. And he still justifies us. Yes. He yes. still gives us grace. Yes. Amen. Sister Kim. Mercies. They new every morning. <laughs> <laughs> they, I'll be they, waiting till the morning. They, you know, you 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 tacked on mercy. They they go together. <laughs> They go together. Yeah. They go yeah, together. For sure. Mm. Mm. Oh man. Unmarried favor. Should have been dead. A lot of stuff I did. 
did. Yeah. Should have been, yeah. been just wiped completely out. Yeah. Yes. But for his mercy. For me. For me. I don't know why. For but me. It's for me. In my heart, that my heart is wicked beyond wicked. Yes. Yeah. But he still have grace and mercy toward me. I'm justified. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I just I love the blood. Okay. <laughs> because it has done so much for me. You know, when you think about how, how you, you used to be and what the mm. things you used to do, and it's like it's no way that I, I you know, because I did I wasn't thinking about God. Mm -hmm. Back then, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I wasn't. Mm -hmm. I knew of him, but I didn't have a personal relationship with him. Mm -hmm. And it, it just it behooves me to be grateful for what he is doing now in my life because when I wasn't thinking about him, he was thinking about me. Mm -hmm. He he always cared for me. He always looked out. It's so many things that I did. So many places that I've been where I could be dead, mm -hmm. right. but he he covered me yeah. while I was a sinner, mm -hmm. not even thinking about him. Mm. He thought about me. You think about think about Jesus between the two thieves. Yes. And um, one was like didn't necessarily care who Jesus was. Didn't care. And then you have another who was in some ways sympathizing and basically it was like, no, we deserve right. mm -hmm. to be up here. Mm -hmm. But this man has done nothing. That's right. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people say I'm going to wait to the last minute mm -hmm. to get saved. Yeah. Now, we can look, we can look at an example. <laughs> <laughs> we can look at an example, but I think that's cutting it kind of close. Yeah, really. Because <laughs> you have no, no day and time. Look, I've done, I was never involved in a lot of crazy stuff, but I seem to find myself in situations where the Lord was there with me. There was a time where uh, we just went, anybody been in Fort Wayne in the early 90s know that there was a lot of gang related activity. And I, uh, just went to the Y. We was going to the Y, went to the Y MCA. I think it was the one off of, uh, I think it was um, Reed and and, and, and Creighton. Mm -hmm. And um, we just went in there. We was going to play some basketball. A couple of guys in there playing video games because like back in the day, you had the, uh, the arcade or what have you. And some folks came with their chest poked out talking about what are you doing here? because uh, a specific set or what have you. Long the just of it is, the guys that came in kicked those guys out. But uh, I would say less than three minutes later, we heard pop, 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 pop. And they, a drive-by on the YMCA while we're inside. Mm, yeah. Be all because of gang-related stuff. Yeah. Um, and I'm I'm be real. People always talk about people who um, who temporarily uh, lose their thought process. Once I heard the gunshot and it stopped, rather than staying and going deeper into the why, I hightailed it and was going home. I went outside <laughs> where they were shooting. And went home. I wanted to get away from the location. Amen. They could have turned around. They could have yeah. done anything. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm a young teenager. Yeah. I'm not being involved in, in, in certain things like this. I mean, I have a lot of stories that I can right. talk about in situations where Chris was involved in this. Right. I, you know, some of the people that I hung around. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Lord knows that he, he done so much for me. Right. Like, I mean, I was always designated. I had friends that did some things, and I was always the one that made sure that they got home. You know, 
the Lord was looking after me, mm -hmm. and in some ways, through me, I was protecting others. Mm -hmm. Because as bad off as some people were, mm -hmm. because of God, because mm -hmm. he kept me from some things that without the without him having his hand on me. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. We have to think about that. Look at Paul there. Good Lord. Mm -hmm. Paul was um I remember hearing Mother Bruce say Paul was the first serial killer. <laughs> 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 yes. And yes. he was murder. Yeah. He really was. He yeah. was going around killing all the Christians. Yes. And he thought he was in the right. See. And when he was talking about the two thieves on the cross, the one that did not, the one that said, "Leave him alone." Mm -hmm. The other one said, "If you were who you say you were, you get us down. You get yourself down, and you get us down with you." So the one that denied him knew of him mm -hmm. and knew See. the work that he's done. Yeah, that's just like the sinner. They know of him, right. and they know the work that he's do he's right. done. Right. But the one on the the one on the side that says, "When you get into your kingdom, remember me." Mm -hmm. He gave his heart to Christ at that moment because he turned away what he thinking. Yes, I'm guilty. He told the truth. I'm guilty. Mm -hmm. The things that I did, I'm guilty of. Yeah. But Lord, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Can we, but, and it's interesting because a lot of us, we don't even want to admit the things that we've done. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying, uh, I'm not, I'm not casting any aspersion on any saint. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that some people have a tendency to forget right. the things that they've done. Right. Mm -hmm. And true repentance. Mm -hmm. See, all that stuff uh, coincides with the grace in my opinion. Yeah. You you have grace, and that grace holds you until you get to that true yeah. <laughs> repentance. Because yeah. uh, if we don't, if we if we never get to that point, we we know who Jesus is. It's not it's not just knowing who Jesus is. Mm. And um, let me correct that. We have to. We have to believe in him. Yeah, a lot of people, they, they know of Jesus. Right. But like you said, that personal relationship, without that personal relationship, without grace, mm -hmm. can you imagine where any of us, I mean, we, we, we scarcely make it in. Yeah, right. So, I mean, this is not something that's going to be, uh, be very easy. And it's it's and it's it's not about the works either. Mm -hmm. It's a part of it. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't just do any and everything right. and still claim to believe in who Jesus is and expect to make it. Yeah. No, it's yeah. that we, we there's there's a little bit more to it. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But I'm just I'm just thankful for grace yeah. in conjunction mercy as right. well. <laughs> they go together. They do. Um, when you were speaking, I was just thinking like, yeah, I have so many stories of just, you, you going out and you think you're getting ready to have a good time and mm -hmm. you ain't into none of that. And I came home with blood on my shirt from other people fighting and, you know, I could have been hit. Mm -hmm. And you know, once the fight starts, gunshots start popping off. I've had people around me get stabbed, all types of stuff. We all trying to run out of one door. It's only one exit and it's yes. been there. Yes. Been there, done that. Then you know, just thinking in my my own righteousness that I'm good. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm not doing anything bad. I'm working. I'm going home. My birthday, I get T-boned on Coliseum, spent towards oncoming traffic. My birthday could have been my my death day. Wow. You know, and the grace. You mm -hmm. was talking mercy. about righteousness. Our righteousness is it's filthy, filthy rags. Right. It's filthy. Yes. The. <laughs> When you when you think about that though, oh. the best we can do right. it's still is, is 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 filthy. Yeah. 
I remember Bishop talking about how uh, when he played football and they had the, uh, their uh, their um, jerseys or what have you, and you would go wash them, and you know in bleach, yeah. and then you and, then, and, then, and, then, and they look clean. They look clean until you hold it up next to something that is 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 completely white, right and you can see the difference. The problem is we are surrounded by so many people or righteous people that their righteousness we're trying to we're trying to compare our righteousness mm -hmm. to other people yeah. and we shouldn't do that yeah. we should try to compare our righteousness to jesus right and if if jesus is the standard right. then we reach for his standard mm -hmm. you know i can look at um evangelist william i'll be like you know what that's a strong woman of God. You know, I want to have uh, a strength in the Lord like what she had, and I can cover her anointing or what have you. But you know what? What I need to do is I need to focus on Jesus. Mm -hmm. And if yeah. you focus on him instead of individuals, yeah. that's when we uh, we get to a better, a different place. Yeah, yeah I said last week that you got to stop watching how God bless other people. Amen. You yeah. got to work you this you gotta work out your own soul salvation and then going back to the works it's like if we could do it then it would be for us we would be able to glory then, <laughs> then that would open up a vein that there's many ways to God. Wow. And then that defeats the whole purpose of our walk. Mm -hmm. We know that that's not true. We know that there's only one way and that's through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Like you said, we gotta be specific. Yeah, but just piggyback off what you just said. Um if that was the case, we wouldn't have needed Jesus to um, come down at all. At all. Yeah. Up there. Yeah, so just think about that. So we no, 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 we needed Jesus. <laughs> Sometimes we, we look at people and be like, you, you need, need Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> we tell them the truth. <laughs> yeah. But we, Probably, <laughs> but we need them also, exactly. <laughs> When Jesus, when God looked down at the world and the world needs him, yeah. and yeah. God said, whom can I send? Whom mm -hmm. can I send? And I, I love the fact that he took a portion of himself. Well. Yeah. Without yeah. sin. Yeah. Wrapped it in this fleshly sin. This yeah. wrapped it in this. Came down to the earth. Walked this earth and took on every sin that you can even ever even imagine. When he drank from that cup, yeah. he saw everything, every sin that ever you could even imagine. We want to categorize sin, <laughs> but yeah. sin is sin. Big or small That's is sin. It. We cannot categorize it because. We can't save anybody from sin. Right. Some people want to think mm -hmm. of it like I'm using extremes. Mm -hmm. But if I just come off and just punch somebody in the face, but if I uh but if I kill someone, mm -hmm. people want to use yes, the do. level of yes. mm -hmm. yep. sin is sin. Mm -hmm. I, I it's it's very difficult for people to grasp that yeah. because they want to yeah. say, well. Um, they want to put levels to this, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, but just because I didn't do what somebody else did doesn't mm -hmm. make my sin any less um, than their sin. And that is true because when it all boils down to it, we got to stand before the Lord. Right. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be, a, mm -hmm. and what you did, I'm not going to stand in account. Right, right, right. But everything I did, said, every thought, I thought. I, every word that proceeded out of my mouth, mm -hmm. I got to stand in account for that. Yeah. And so, just like I keep saying, I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> when when he was talking about um, you and like wanting or coveting your your anointing, mm -hmm. your spiritual walk or whatever, it made me think of, and it, it, it coincides with. Um, as far as your sin, you standing before God and, and having to answer for what you did, it made me think of, you know, God, he asks us specifically for things. 
So if you go out and you try to do something and do it the way somebody else did, he going to look at you like, I didn't ask you for that. I know what I asked of them and I know what I've asked of you. So if you try to present him with something that someone else did, it's false. It's counterfeit. Cain and he, 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 can't, he can't bless you for what you're doing trying to be like somebody else. He has to bless the real you, not the counterfeit. We are uh, we are all individuals. Yeah, for um, a um, I probably won't hear about this, but uh, <laughs> my personality set. Um, a lot of people uh, compare Pastor and I because of how we carry ourselves. <laughs> but I am not Pastor. <laughs> I am not. I there. There is. Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, our birthday being about a week apart doesn't make me any closer to him. Um, but that's what happens sometimes. Yeah. People, they, they, they look at other folks and they want to do comparisons. Yeah. <laughs> no, we have a different fingerprint for a reason. Right. Mm. Means that we're all individuals. We cannot. We cannot, um, like uh, Sister Camilla said, uh, uh, copy what somebody else is doing. Mm -hmm. We can't stand in the pulpit and preach like them. Yeah. We can't teach like them. Yeah. We can't speak like them. We have to be who we are. Mm -hmm. In Christ, though, right. you know, it's not about self. Mm -hmm. It's about um, letting the Lord uh, use us. Let he let him be inside us, not necessarily uh, us taking on somebody else's mm -hmm. son. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it said, justified by faith. Faith come by hearing. Yeah. The word of God. The word of God. Once we start hearing it, mm -hmm. um, it's like I love to. Say, I love that repetition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And just like when you. When you were, when you when I was raised by kids, I could not just tell them to do something one time and they got it. You understand? I had to keep telling them over and over, and finally some days I can come home and they got it. Then I come home again a week later they they don't have it anymore, and I have to tell it again. And that's the way the word does for us in our life. I got it on this level. Then I walk, mm -hmm. a couple of weeks later, mm -hmm. I have to go back and review because yeah. something else came up that made me forget it. Mm -hmm. So I got to do it. This is what we're doing, faith. Yeah. We got to be led by the word. God said it, I believe it, and that's it. Yeah. That's what faith is. God said it, yeah. I believe it, and that's yeah. it. <laughs> Last week, Minister Gary Jr., he basically said, we have the answers. That's it, right here. The, the answer is here. So even though we may have forgot, we can always we go back. right back that, to that that's thing. That's it, that's it. And see, I think that's like, and he used the analogy of, of Mother Bush and how she would always say, we never peek in this. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you always have to go back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can read the, the Bible from cover to cover mm -hmm. and you always have to go back yeah. and review. There's been scriptures that I've read a yeah. hundred times mm -hmm. and then on the 101 time, I get a new revelation out of that. That's it, that's it. And so just because we think we know the word, doesn't mean that what we we got this. We don't have to revisit that thing anymore. Yeah. And I was thinking, even with this lesson, I was trying to figure out, like, okay, how is it that you know grace is not offered to everybody? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I know the scripture. You're no respecter of persons, right? Mm -hmm. But I had to go back and read that mm -hmm. in context mm -hmm. of what it was saying. Uh -huh. And then even the lesson tells you. It's by faith. It's by faith. So people, if they don't believe, they're not going to be able to receive the grace. That's a benefit. That's mm -hmm. it. Believing in God and mm -hmm. having faith in Him. So yeah, that was something that I had to. You, you got to go back because sometimes you you hear stuff and it, it's it's read out of context, and that's why it's important for you to know your word for yourself. That's and it. Not just be amen 
everything that come across the pulpit because sometimes it you never know. You know, you know, it, it depends on where you at. Obviously, I know we're we're in a good place, but sometimes <laughs> you know we got people out there that's false prophets, and you got to be aware of that. And I was thinking about what you said about the immunity that God has placed over my life. It's, my life has been a hurricane, <laughs> and I can tell you, a lot of times. I didn't see how I was going to get through a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But because he said it, and I just said, Lord, I believe you. Help me in the area where I don't believe. Mm -hmm. And see, a lot of times we're scared to ask God to help us mm -hmm. in my unbelief. We're scared yeah. to say that we don't get on no Sunday. Mm -hmm. yeah. no. And that's where we that's where we lack wisdom mm -hmm. in certain areas. Because we don't want to say, help me in my unbelief. That goes back to tribulation. Yeah. Um, I think what a lot of people in the world seem to um, uh, think when they come over to Christ is that the moment you come over to Christ, that everything is going to be good yeah. in your life. Yeah. And there's this term that people use, they say babes in Christ. Mm -hmm. And sometimes without the, the knowledge and the understanding that yeah we're all going to have certain levels of tribulations, whether you're in Christ or not. Right. And so because of that goes back to the peace yeah. that we get during the tribulation that we're going through, because we can be going through a lot of things, but because of that peace that we have in Christ, we can still persevere yeah. through that thing. Mm -hmm. Without peace, it's very difficult to make it through the tribulation. Mm -hmm. And so um, we we definitely have to inform people that it's not going to be a cakewalk the moment you um, you accept Christ in your life. And I think that that's a misconception for people that come in that everything is going to be good. Yeah. They praising, they jumping, they hallelujah, and uh, and then they like well. I just lost my job, but Lord, I just, I just, I just gave my life over to you, or, or I lost my home, or, or, or my mom passed, or I'm, 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 I'm inflicted, um, I have cancer, or I have a, a sickness. Now, there's a certain level of peace that you get, but we have, to, we, there's certain things that we have to have. There's, there's an order to this thing. You can. If you don't have, you going through tribulation without peace. I dare think that you may not make it through the tribulation. Amen. We are just about out of time. Uh, time and our uh, studio. Could you give your last minute? When I was reading this lesson, I thought of the the Japanese term "kintsu," and that means the broken heart. Peace with the broken heart. And when you think about it, what they're doing is they breaking glass and break, breaking pottery. And that's just like us. We, we tear up our lives, we shred it to pieces before we meet Christ. And then we bring him the pieces and say, here, God, fix this. And that's what he did with the blood. He covered us through it. And he fixed us. And now we have this beautiful masterpiece. It's, it's a mess. It came from a mess. But he's put it all back together. And it's a beautiful, imperfect, perfect masterpiece. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I think about the peace that we have in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. The fact that no matter what we may be going through, mm -hmm. we can trust and believe that Jesus has everything under control. Mm -hmm. And Our countenance shouldn't change, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. uh, when we when we trust and truly believe that Jesus had it has it under control, then that will um, that will give us the peace that we need to to continue on through the tribulations that we may go through. Amen. As children of God, we are justified by faith. 
The Bible says faith without works is dead. Mm -hmm. Not meaning that we can work toward that we can work for faith. It means that means that we have to work in learning the word, yeah. work in building mm -hmm. a standard mm -hmm. for our life by the word. Mm -hmm. We are justified, not we are justified by his blood. And through his life, we are also justified. He gave an example of who he is yeah. so that we may be able to walk out this life that we now live mm -hmm. in him. Mm -hmm. So that's our lesson today. Please join us back again at 11 o'clock. We have a special guest and we'll be looking forward. We hope that something that we said today, you can take with you the rest of the week. God bless.